Yo, so you ever been in your house and been like, it's not that cool in here. I wish I could have it and design it however I wanted. And I would design it like a real gamer. Well, as a young fella, I certainly did. And that's what got me into excitedly downloading Anarchy Arcade. The promise of the game is to create your reality. Have a 3D desktop where you run shortcuts to your movies, website links, video games, whatever. And so you run around the map that you choose, design it, you're like, I wanna play Hotline Miami. So you run over to the cabinet over there and play Hotline Miami. I wanna go to YouTube. So you run to this corner of the map where you've got your TV on the screen, click and you visit YouTube. You just like live in this fantasy world, running your computer from this exciting place instead of your boring 2D desktop. If this all looks and sounds really cool to you, then it might be. It might be perfect for you. It might be just what you're looking for. But for me, it really lost its value. Now, I don't want to talk bad about the game because the dev is actually like a really great guy. He's always playing the game, updating it and testing it. He's responding to your messages if you ask him about it. He's a good guy and he cares about his little project, right? But I just can't really recommend it still. Aside from the fact I think the UI could be much friendlier and the game could just be easy to use overall, the idea has just kind of lost its value to me. I'm an adult with my own house, and so having this virtual world is... Uh, I don't really care for that. I have my own house that I freaking design, have it how I want to, to a degree. Obviously, I'm not a freaking rich-ass guy, so when I say design it, I mean put some movie posters on the wall, have a little corner with all my movies and stuff. But that's what I'm looking for, bro, not this virtual world to live in where it's not real, because that's... It's kind of sad. Sadder than what I've already got, which is... Great. I'm freaking happy with what I got, bro. I love what I've got. And you've got to be careful not to fall into materialism, okay? Because what shall it benefit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul? Hevel, hevel. Everything is hevel. What's the point of chasing after all these things if you're just going to die? Now, most importantly, the achievements. Because I stopped using the app for what it's actually made for, I wasn't gonna get them normally, and so it became a grind. And I put it off for the longest time until I found this guide by this absolute legend but I, that I basically just copied and got them all doing his little methods. After hours of monotony, right, spawning a thousand objects or something where you're like, oh, load this, close this, load this, close this, load this, close this. Or one of those achievements where you gotta have the game running, play 24 hours in a row. You have your computer open for 24 hours just idling the game. I was able to get them all. Now, it's an idea that I was captivated by as a kid, but was never really able to scratch that itch that I had. Maybe because I never properly used it deeply, because it was too difficult to freaking use properly anyway. I have doubts it will be able to scratch the itch of anyone else that had the same thing that I, was a, that I had when I was a kid, but I'm certain it will cause boredom and frustration for any achievement hunters. Just use your computer normally, clean up your file management, Use a 2D desktop and set your little room up or your house up how you want it. Clean the place up, bro. If you got a dirty ass room and you're like, I want to live in Anarchy Arcade. No, how about you freaking clean your house, bro? Clean your bedroom first and freaking live in a clutterless, calm place. And also stop worrying about material things so much and chase after what actually matters, bro. So does that mean that it's flawed to the very core? Does that mean the idea is flawed? Yeah. Yeah, it does.